Hello, welcome to a fingernail fixer tutorial video. This week, let's take a crack at some tips for doing plaid. To start off, go ahead and polish the nail with two layers of your favorite gel polish color, something light, or you could even go with light and sparkly. Using some sort of paints, whether it's acrylic paints, water paints, one of my favorites to work with are the butter paints from Wildflowers. Use three or four different colors. If you're going to make your stripes, ideally a small striping brush or a long striping brush, whichever you're the most comfortable with, are going to work really well for stripes. To make a wider stripe, you can go over the line more than once, as well as pressing a little harder on the brush to deposit more color. If you're looking to make a thinner line, it would be ideal to very gently press the brush or not even really press it at all just to kind of float it across the nail to get a thinner line. You can clean your brush in between colors with water or alcohol depending upon the medium that you choose to use. You can also use a little bit of water or alcohol to clean up your lines and make them a little more crisp. The trick to plaid is envisioning the mix of colors and going back and forth between horizontal and vertical lines. If you choose to do your striping with gel polish, you could actually layer the lines on top of each other, curing each one as you go, which will make it really easy to clean up the lines without smudging the previous ones. Again, if you're doing thinner lines, the idea is not to work as much color into the brush, as well as to use hardly any pressure so that the brush almost floats across the nail, leaving a nice thin line. Also, if you're trying to get a straight line across the nail, you may have better luck keeping it straight if you go from side to center and side to center versus trying to go all the way from one side to the other, especially if the nail is curved. You may find that if the nail is curved when you're trying to completely go from one side to the other, you get a lot of wobble in the line. Whereas coming from one side to the center helps you get that line a little more close to straight across. Using a mixture of different types of colors, some light, a medium, and a dark, or two mediums, a dark, and a light, or two darks, two mediums, any combination, just making sure that the colors are in a variation of tone. That way you really see the dimension of the plaid because the colors are in a range. Looking at this, you can really see that yellow popping against the navy because the yellow is light and the navy is dark. Thin application is always gonna give you the best when it comes to dry time. It's always going to be easier to come back in and add a little bit of color if you want to make the color richer than to try and glob all the color on at once and get perfect color in the first layer. Notice that I'm going back and forth between the horizontal and the vertical. This gives that layered appearance of the plaid so that the colors are interwoven amongst each other. Also, for the thicker lines, you can load the brush a little heavier, and for the thinner lines, you have a little less loaded in the brush. The thicker lines use more pressure, and the thinner lines are floating across the nail, barely using any pressure at all. You can use as few or as many colors with a plaid as you like. A monotone plaid, for example, such as a white nail using black and a medium gray looks really fun. Also, there are some of the traditional tartan plaids with the red and the black and the yellow. It's really completely up to you or the client. If you want to model it after a specific plaid, have the client bring in a photo or a fabric. You can also simply Google plaids or tartan plaids to see what comes up and inspires you for specific 
color arrangements. Also, if you struggle with the layering, looking at photos gives you an idea because you'll be able to see which colors are layered on top of the other so that you know about how to go back and forth between the horizontal and the vertical to get the right look. Because if you start off doing all your horizontal stripes and then come in and do all your vertical stripes, it just looks like a bunch of stripes layered on top of each other instead of getting that plaid look that you're wanting to accomplish. Whereas going back and forth between the horizontal and the vertical gives you that look that has the dimension of the plaid. You can also go back in later and add bits of color over the top of something that you want to bring forward and create a look that part of that stripe went under something and part of that stripe went over something. I hope this gives you an idea for the basis of creating plaid nails. It really is a completely personal preference how you design them. There's not a right or a wrong way. Once your paints have dried, be sure to go ahead and apply a top coat to seal and protect everything in, and then cure it for the amount of time in your lamp that it's meant to be cured for. Again, you could also do your stripes using gel polish or any type of paints. I hope you found this useful and informative, and you'll click thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, and keep an eye out for new videos every Tutorial Tuesday. Thank you so much for your time and joining me.